Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to configure VLANs on our Sophos XG and I am going to use also this uh, Cisco switch. Okay, look at this topology. Um, we got two VLANs, the workstation VLANs and the servers VLANs. What I want to do here is to configure the ports from 2 to 20 to be part of the workstation VLAN and the 21 port to be part of the server VLAN. And also look at this. This port connects to the Sophos XG, so we need to configure this port especially. So in order that the packets from the workstation VLAN and the server VLANs pass from Sophos XG to the Cisco switch, I'm going to tag this port using the workstation VLAN and the server VLAN. To complete this lab, I'm going to configure a DHCP server on this Sophos XG. So if we connect a workstation on the port 2, by example, they will receive an IP from the DHCP pool from the workstation VLAN. Okay, let's create our VLANs. Okay. If we want to create a new VLAN, uh, we need to go to configure and then to network. Here on interfaces, uh, we need to go to this part and add a new VLAN. The name of the VLAN will be workstation. The interface that we are going to use to create that VLAN will be the port 1. The zone will be the LAN zone. But if we want to, we can create a new zone. The VLAN ID is going to be 100. And let's add an, a gateway. Uh, for this VLAN. And now we can save. Okay, let's create a new VLAN. Name servers. The port will be port 1. The zone is going to be the LAN zone. The VLAN ID will be 150. And let's create a gateway for this VLAN and save. If we go into this part VLAN, we can view the VLANs that we have created. Okay, I told you that I I wanted to create a DHCP VLAN for each VLAN. So let's go to DHCP and add a new DHCP server. Let's create a DHCP server for the VLAN 100, that is the workstation VLAN. Workstations DHCP, the interface is going to be workstations. Let's add a new pool. The domain name can be whatever you want. You can add a secondary DNS server and then save. Now let's go for the server VLAN.
This is just an example. Don't use a DHCP server on your server VLAN. <laughs> This is the DNS server of Google. Okay, we have configured this part and the next part is configure our Cisco, our Cisco switch. Okay, logging into the switch. And let's create a VLAN. Go to the VLAN management, create a VLAN click on the add button apply apply okay I told you before that we wanted the port from 2 to 20 to be part of the workstations VLAN so we need to untag these ports so let's go to port to VLAN, go to the 100 VLAN, and then click on go. Let's untag the ports from 2 to 20. This is like to configure the port on access mode. and apply. I also told you that the server is connected to the 21 port. So let's untag this with the 150 VLAN, the server VLAN. So let's go to the 150 VLAN, click on go, search for the 21 port and untag 21 untag sorry 21 untag and apply done now let's configure this port as this tag uh, 100 and 150 so Let's go to 100, then go, select the port 23, and tag, tag, then apply. And now go to the 150, then go, and then go to the 23 port, and tag. then apply and now we can save the configuration go to the save message and apply let's check if this lab is working as we want to i'm going to connect a workstation on the port 2 if this is configured as expected and the softbox SG will send me an IP for the workstation. Okay, I did it. So if I open a command line, it, if I type IP config, I receive an IP from the workstation VLAN. And now if I connect my PC to the 21 port, I will receive a, an IP from the server VLAN. Okay, let's type IP config. And I receive an IP from the server VLAN pool. So with this, um, we have successfully done our lab. So I hope that you have and learn a bit about networking using VLANs with our Cisco switch and our Sophos XG firewall.